Welcome back to AM Northwest. Here with the perfect dish for the cooler fall days ahead, we welcome back the co-author of F Words, Mom, Let Us Say, Food, Family, and Friends, Sharon Petty. Always great to see it's you, Sharon. It's always great to be here. Tell I'm me about, to make this. about this dish, well, fall this, light. This is so nice because it's still light, but it's a chili, and it start, our temperatures are getting ready to change just yeah, a little sure. bit. But we have busy back to fall you know, school schedules, so you can make ahead. My girls used to have to eat at different times because of activities, so this is nice. Make ahead. And then also, it's great football food. Oh, yeah, that sounds <laughs> it's good. It's a great make yeah. ahead of the football game and uh, eat it during halftime. Let's start. All right. So I've already started one medium onion, uh, finely chopped, with three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. So I kind of got that going already. And then we're going to add one medium orange bell pepper. So pretty. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. They're really bright right now. And then we're gonna move on to some garlic. This is four cloves of chopped garlic, not too small, because we don't want it to burn as we're kind of sauteing. Oh, that is a good point. Okay, <laughs> I hear and you. And what we're looking for is this to just start getting a little bit translucent. Okay. So we're kind of getting there, uh, since I gave the onions a head start. And then we're gonna start adding all the goodies. Okay. This is um, green chilies. Um, I had a friend just make this recipe and she said she added extra. So, you know, if you like a little more flavor from peppers yeah. and uh, you can do, or from chilies, you can do that. that. That's the fun thing about cooking versus baking is you can change it up. I you love can that. put in something, take yep. something out. Yep, my youngest daughter loves corn. Yeah. So if she's making this, she will add more corn than she should. Okay. <laughs> or not should, but and more than, like fresh corn. than the recipe. Yeah, since fresh corn's available right now, yeah. I'm, I like using it. I just feel like it adds so much freshness I to agree. a soup. But um, you can just use frozen corn if, if it's not available. Sure. But yeah, this is fresh corn. And then we're gonna go ahead and start the seasonings. This is one tablespoon of chili powder. Mm. We'll get that in there, and okay. that's gonna start smelling really good. And then this is a teaspoon of cumin. And then I this is- I feel like is, more people are using cumin now. I know, I love it. I, it has a nice little Tex-Mex yeah. flavor always. Yeah. And then this is um, a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. And it just has a little bit, I think, of a stronger flavor, yes. not too strong, yeah. um, which is really nice. Also, when you compare the prices, when you when you go into the Hispanic section of the yes. grocery store and you can get a bag of it. Yes, you and I have talked about that. Much it's less so expensive. much it's so smart yeah. to do, it really is. Sure. And then what we'll do at this point is we'll add the broth okay. and we'll let it start coming to um, like More melding. of a boil, okay. Um, and then in a few minutes we'll add some other things, and then we'll let yeah. it simmer. But okay. see how easy that is. Yeah. We're just about on. Yeah, its and you way. mentioned this recipe was one of your daughter's favorites, yes. right? Her absolute favorite. You you're known to mentor young women, aren't you? Um, I was very involved in a community sor service organization um, for many years um, in the development of girls. I've also been a Girl Scout leader, um, a team mom for dance teams, soccer teams, yeah. volleyball teams. And um, yeah, it led me to. And, and then you wrote a book about <laughs> mentoring girls. Yes, I did. Well, the book is more um, an empowerment book for young girls. Okay. Um, what I was seeing working with so many of them, there it is. Um, Grow yourself beautiful. Um, working with so many of them is seeing the societal pressures of unrealistic, uh, superficial beauty, right. body type, hyper overachievement. And it was really the focus sad. On boys. <laughs> it was really yeah. sad to see these happy-go-lucky little confident girls turn into these stressed-out teens. Yeah. And so yeah, I wanted. Yeah, you do see a big difference, don't you? Like it from is middle a school huge, to uh, and, high school. And once you pay attention to it, and yeah. you pay attention to all that messaging coming at them, right? You can't unsee it. Right. So I just felt really responsible to being around so many girls um, to write a book that helps empower them to build a strong sense of self yeah. and build their beauty from the inside out and their strength yeah. so they're more impervious Absolute. to all of those messages. I love it, I love so, it, I love yeah, it. Yeah, thank That's you great. for asking me about you that. Bet. I love that book so much and the message. Oh, good. So now you've got, you okay. put in the, chick yep. the chicken broth. Uh-huh, so okay. now we're gonna add just the final ingredients. We didn't want our beans to get too, too mushy. So these are cannellini beans. I have two cans okay. in there. And you can either rinse them or put them all in. Okay. Um, I usually do half. Like I'll I'll just kind of drain them halfway because they have a lot of sodium. Yeah. In there. Oh, okay. So we'll do that. Then this is a rotisserie chicken just pulled, and 
And um, then what we'll do, we'll add some fresh lime juice. Do you want to do that for me? Sure, or, you bet. Um, yeah, all we have to do, um, op oh, we'll open it sorry, and sorry. stick that in there. Yeah. And um, we'll just add the two okay. limes in there. And um, for anybody that has our cookbook, we have a lot of that same messaging. Oh um, yeah, all throughout the cookbook. You know, building your self-love and confidence and cooking, I think, is a, a beautiful way to, sure. to do that as well. There's lots of different roads to oh, that. Oh, sure. And okay. um, poof, that is that. That's it? Yeah. Okay. And so we have some all done, because what we'll do usually is you'll just kind of, you'll cover it and let it simmer. Um, and it doesn't have to simmer that long. The flavors come together very quickly yeah. since there's a rotisserie chicken in there. Oh, sure. Um, but, um, you know, you can let it simmer for maybe 20 minutes, Oh, 20, let me try it. Minutes. Let me try it. So you put it in a bowl. And I see you have sour cream. You like to yeah, sometimes Yeah, and you know what? Cream, you can. Chips, I cheese. am such a condiment girl, but you can Cilantro. do anything that you want. But a lot of times um, I'll just put, like, a little cheese in there. I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, a little dollop of sour cream if you want to. Here. Okay. And then sometimes I just submerge these in there too, mm. and it makes it like a chicken tortilla soup. So Love that's it. really yummy too. Sharon, that's great. <laughs> Tell everyone again, the book is F Words, Mom Let Us Say. Sharon Petty, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank I you so it. much. And congrats on your new it. book. Thank you so much. All right, we'll put all information on our website at k2.com. And we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.